So this is one of the uses of, uh, of the project. It's a uh, kitchen clock. Um, so I've got another use as well for another clock on, on the mantelpiece, which I'll do a bit later. Uh, I'll uh, go, around, go through all the features of it later in the video. Uh, but right now I'll, I'll zoom in and, and do a comparison of the board which is in this project, which is the alpha board uh, and the beta board. So this is the alpha board. Um, it's got a few differences to the beta board. So I've on the beta board, I've turned the regulator around um, so that the regulator has more space on the board and doesn't uh, come out over the edge. Same with the crystal. Um, so I've turned the crystal around so that I can fit a bigger crystal that goes across there. Um, and there's a lot more components here on the beta board than there is on the alpha board. And the reason for that is when I designed the alpha board, I didn't, I wanted, I needed to design a way of driving the decimal places and I didn't do it very well on the alpha board. So I've changed the circuit on the beta board to drive the uh, decimal places properly. Uh, in this particular project, um, I've got these a couple of extra boards, which I've just done by hand. Uh, just to drive these big seven segment displays because these big displays run off of about 15 volts uh, so they needed some drivers also these displays are a common anode and on my design it's, it drives common cathode displays because it uses 7474 or 7447 sorry um, yeah which is just common cathode uh, and so when I actually come to do a, a revision 2 uh, a lot of that will be changing um, but I can make use of the alpha board in this project, which is good. All I need to do now is make a cover for this, uh, and then I can pretty much uh, consider this project done. Um, as far as this alpha board goes, uh, the beta board, I've got a project for that in line for sort of a, another timepiece on the, on the mantelpiece. Um, and then I've got a, 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 a second beta board, which I'll just use for general purpose stuff. Uh, but uh, when I make the uh, Model 2, hopefully I'll make that into a, some kind of kit form which I can sell um, and, and maybe sell it as a kit um, as a sort of a, a rather than just a flashing LED kit, which a lot of kits are, it'll actually have a purpose. So I'm hoping a, a few people might be interested in it. So this is the uh, beta version of the uh, PCBs uh, for the clock project. Um, it's uh, obviously a lot more than just a clock project. Um, but I've assembled it so that the display board, which is, should be a double-sided board, it's, I've got all these links here, um, is separate from the uh, from the main electronic board. And these PCBs were made uh, using the Raspberry Pi to design them using KiCad. Uh, and I've got a couple of videos on, on how to design uh, and create etch um, PCBs using uh, the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and there's a, on the back, there's a PIC microcontroller here and that was programmed using uh, the Raspberry Pi. And there's a video that I've got showing how to um, uh, how to program a PIC microcontroller uh, using the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and the project uh, is there. Uh, I've got some videos on that, and uh, also uh, describing the uh, the Python code which I used to program it, uh, which is open source, but which can be found on my GitHub page as well. Uh, so apart from PIC microcontroller, I've got a regulator. Uh, 5 volt regulator which will be removed on version 2 of this board uh, so I've got the alpha board which you've seen and this is the beta board but I'm going to uh, a new design now because I want to get rid of these other two chips so this is a seven segment display driver and this is a, um, a, a decoder which changes three lines down to eight lines of code uh, of um, binary number uh, so this pick my control I'm gonna make bigger get rid of these chips uh, and just drive off of the pins of the microcontroller, which will allow me to get rid of the 5 volt regulator. I'll be able to drive off a battery then uh, and have a really low power voltage mode. Uh, and I'll be able to get rid of most of these components up here. I'll keep the sounder and these uh, transistors and LEDs down the bottom. I'll have to stay as well to, to drive the segments. So, uh, and also on, on the back, I've just got this temporary board. So, this is what I'm using currently uh, to do uh, voltage measurement. Uh, on the on the device, which I'll demonstrate in, in uh, just a second. Um, I'll keep the for design two. I'll keep the display board separate because that's nice and small. I might get in the way if it's in if it's in a display area, and you can either 
put uh, the other board on the ribbon cable to it or you can just plug it into the into the display like that what I'll do now is I'll power up this and go through the modes of operation so I'll just go run it off of a PP3 battery and one of one of the good things about um, being a pick mic controller is it starts up instantly uh, so it's low power starts up instantly uh, you know so there's some very good reasons to use a microcontroller where you can as opposed to like a Raspberry Pi which uh, takes time to boot uh, I'll go through the mode so this is time mode uh, on the first button um, you go to alarm alarm mode and uh, by default there's no alarm set so that it won't won't go off if it's set to zero 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 if you hold the first button down for a couple of seconds it goes into set mode for the alarm uh, and then the first button is to set hours uh, next button is to set minutes then set seconds on the next button and then the fourth button is to exit and that saves the alarm uh, that you've just set and then it's the date uh, and this is just the default date so again setting any any of these uh, values you just hold down the mode button that you went that you used to get into it for a couple of sec seconds it then goes into uh, set mode where you can set the uh, the date in this instance so if I hit, hit hit again I get to the time and again if I want to set time I just hold down the, the mode button uh, otherwise if you just click through the, the button the the mode it will just go through each each item on the second button uh, this is a, a, time, a stopwatch timer, so if you press the button it starts. And then if you press the button again it stops. Uh, and this time you, you can press it again, start again from where you left off and stop again. Uh, but if you hold it down for a couple of seconds it then resets to zero. Uh, then the next button, this is a countdown timer, so that's the default value of uh, five minutes. If you press it, it starts. Uh, and again, you can stop it. Uh, you can start it again. Uh, when it gets down to zero, uh, an alarm will sound. So um, if I hold it down, it resets to the value it last saved. Uh, so I, what I can do is I'll just quickly go around to like say one minute or something like. Or actually, just a few seconds, just so I can show the uh, the alarm going off. So if I just set it to five seconds, uh, fourth button to exit again. Uh, then press the button to start it and then it counts down and the alarm should go off when it gets down to zero. And if I hold down the button again to reset, it just remembers the last thing you set it to. So whatever you set it to last, it will go to, but you can change that value. Uh, so on the next button, um, okay, for this one I need, so I've got the, the, the board plugged into the back. So this one is, the first one is volts. So I'll try and do this uh, single handed. I've got a uh, 1.5 volt battery here. If I put that across the, if I put that across, it shows 1.44 volts. Or if I got like a 9 volt battery, if I put that across the terminals, it shows 9.5. Oh, the updates at the minute I've got going really quickly um, so I should probably slow that down but 9.52, 9.51 sort of thing I think that's going between and just lastly a coin cell battery uh, 3.1112 sort of thing so that's uh, another mode and by, by the way all this is uh, programmed into a 2k memory on the on the PIC microcontroller so you can get quite a bit into a PIC microcontroller into like 2k uh, and then the next one, so that should be current, but I haven't programmed, I've, I've got to do the circuit for that, having a shunt resistor and stuff, I haven't done that yet. Uh, and then it should be watts, but I've run out of program memory, so I'm not, so the program memory come in revision two of the board. Uh, and then the next button, the fifth button, now this is a frequency counter. Uh, see if I can get this over here. So this is, I've got like a little uh, frequency generator here. Um, and I'll need to, uh, Power it up somehow. Oh yeah, I've got batches here. I'll just plug this in. I think it's set to about five kilohertz at the minute. It's not a very good uh, frequency generator. So this is on the on the other leads, and I think I've got green as ground. 
and so yeah five kilohertz about and it's it's only done on like simple capacitors so let's see if we can adjust this by turning this potentiometer I think it should turn downwards So yeah, turning it down to three kilohertz, two kilohertz. So I've got a simple, very basic frequency generator, uh, frequency counter. Um, it should go up to maybe hundred kilohertz. I'm not sure. It should be good for for um, for audio applications. Uh, and then there's one last thing on on this last button. I've got a, a sleep mode. So when it's level eight, so that's that's infinity. So it will just stay on all the time. But if you press it twice, it goes to 10 seconds sleep mode. So if I, when you're pressing buttons, then it's not sleeping. So in about 10 seconds, so about 35, it should then go into sleep mode so that it doesn't take up battery power. That's going to be more useful in the next, there it goes. And then if you press button one, it wakes up again. And then there's one more sleep mode, which is 10 minutes. So you've got either 10, infinite, um, 10 seconds or 10 minutes. Uh, and that's more handy if you do it using it as a voltage or a frequency measurement thing. 10 minutes is a, a much better value than 10 seconds. If you're just reading the time or date, then 10 seconds is fine and it can go to sleep. Uh, so that's going to be more handy. It does save like 50% of the power in this particular model, but the trouble is I've got a regulator on there that takes a bit of uh, power. So the next version where I've just run it from batteries, that mode should be a lot better and I should be able to... Um, be able to hopefully make a device where the batteries last a very long time uh, when when it's not being used uh, without the need to switch on and off uh, but that's an overview of the project um